Welcome to this tutorial on sounduse.com, a multi-platform music management tool. My name is Max and I'll be your coach for this tutorial. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So for this tutorial we have seven key learning objectives. The first we're just going to cover in this PowerPoint, what is sounduse.com? Up next we're going to talk about the Soundeast interface including signing up, connecting your streaming services, and the anatomy of the dashboard. Then we'll talk in detail about Soundeast's music management tools. And in the last two steps, we'll go over some use cases for Soundeast.com. So Soundeast.com was founded by two French app developers who found that they had large music collections but didn't have a good way to manage them, especially between platforms. These co-founders self-financed their app development and have since created partnerships with most major streaming services. So Soundeast is free to use for the basic user although there are some limits on the functions of the tools. So for example, at the free level, you can only transfer 200 songs at once. At the premium paid level, these limitations are lifted and it provides for a much more robust utilization of Soundy's tools. The top level monetization is the creator function, which allows for more analytical tools in Soundy's. For the basic user, the premium or free model offers more than enough access to the tools. This is a list of some of the use cases that you can use Soundies for. In this tutorial, we're going to go over an enthusiast use case trying to transfer music between two streaming services, maybe to switch a subscription or update a playlist. And then we'll go into a more commercial use of Soundies to manage a playlist for a DJ set. So without further ado, let's check out Soundies' homepage and do the first steps to sign up. So here we are on the Soundies.com homepage. This is the landing page you come to when you look up Soundies.com on Google. In order to sign up for an account with Soundies, we're going to navigate to the top right to this purple button here that says Get Started Now. On this page, we have a number of options to sign into Soundies. We can sign in with music services, we can create a profile directly through Soundies, or we can sign in with Google, Facebook, or Apple. It's worth noting that if you sign in with a music service, it will automatically link this service to Soundies, which could save you a step down the road. In this case, we're just going to sign in with Google so we can demonstrate the functionality of the linking system. Beautiful. Now that we're into the Soundies dashboard, we can demonstrate the first process, which is linking our streaming services. Okay, let's link our first streaming services. This is really intuitive and easy in Soundies. On the left side, we can see the bar that lists all of the available streaming services for Soundies users. In this case, we're just going to link our Spotify. So we click on the app that we want, and we'll hit this connect button. This will create a pop-up that will ask us if we're okay with Soundies managing our profile. Let's hit agree. This will automatically populate Soundies with our Spotify playlists. Next, we'll connect our title. Exact same process, we just need to log into the app and it'll automatically populate Soundies with our title playlist. It's worth noting that we have a small crown icon on the top left of the title and Spotify logos. This indicates that we are premium subscribers to these services and we can create and manage playlists with those capabilities through Soundies. The green button on the bottom right indicates that this is connected. So currently, we have the Soundies account connected, the Spotify account connected, and the Tidal account connected. Up next, let's check out our dashboard and some of the tools we can access through it. So let's look at our dashboard. We'll start from the top and we'll progress towards the bottom of the screen. On the top right, we have the option to create a new playlist. So we can select the service that we want to create the playlist on, then we can create a playlist and populate it with songs. Directly adjacent, we have the opportunity to import a playlist. This requires an existing list of URLs, plain text, or a file that we can give to Soundies in order to create this playlist in our desired streaming service. Over to the left, we can view our account as well as our account settings. And directly below that, we have our explore window. So this shows recent Soundies activity as well as some of the top playlists on Soundies right now. The top playlist just reflects the four top playlists from the Explore window. 
And then directly below, we have our tools. So these are the three basic tools that you have access to in Soundies. The transfer tool allows you to transfer playlists between streaming services. The synchronize tool allows you to take two different playlists and synchronize their track lists automatically using Soundies tools. The share tool allows you to create a smart link, which links your album, playlist, artist, or track page on all streaming services with one link. So much like a link tree, you select one link and it gives you an option to select whatever streaming services you subscribe to to listen to the artist whose link you've chosen. Below this, we have the option to check out our library, which is sorted into playlists, albums, artists, and tracks. Then we have the automation screen. Here, we can transfer large batches of songs. This is great if we want to move maybe just a certain selection of songs to a different playlist that are outside of one single playlist. The sync screen allows us to manage playlists that we currently have the synchronized tool applied to. The smart links screen allows us to currently manage as well as view the analytics on smart links that we have created. And the recent transfers allows us to see our account history. On the left side here, we have a list of all the services. So let's put these tools to work. Here's how to convert your first playlist. All right, so converting a playlist is easy. We're gonna to navigate to the playlist tab of our library and we're gonna find a playlist that we want to convert. I've created this playlist as a demo for this exercise. We're gonna to navigate to the top right and we're gonna hit this convert button. So I'd like to change the title of this. So we'll call this one for tutorial. And we'll change the description to great playlist for the tutorial. So we're gonna save that configuration and then we're gonna confirm the track list. So we want all of these songs kept in our playlist. So let's confirm that. We're going to move this playlist over to Tidal. Soundies will automatically convert this playlist. Looks like we've had a successful conversion here. So we can confirm that this has worked by searching for the playlist. And we can see that my new title has been created with our description. And just to confirm, we can hit this three dots in the top right. We can open on title. This will open a new tab where we can view this playlist in title. Looks like all 15 songs transferred over and we are good to go. Up next, let's take a look at something more advanced. Let's integrate Soundy's functionality with Serato DJ. So one valuable function of Soundy's is the easy way that you could use its music management tools to manage uh, playlists and track lists for professional DJ work. So here I have Serato DJ Pro, which is a sort of dominant DJ software in North America. And we can really easily integrate this with Tidal and use Soundies to manage our library. We've already transferred a playlist to Tidal from our Spotify account. I'm just gonna demonstrate how we can then take that Tidal account a title playlist and use it in Serato. So here in the top right of our screen, we can see this gear icon. This manages the settings for this instance of Serato. We'll just click this library and display tab and make sure we have this show streaming services box selected. If we don't have it selected, it'll just eliminate this window. So we're just gonna make sure we have our desired streaming service selected and we can hit this sign up slash login button, which will take us to a title window. So we're already logged in through the Soundies account. So we'll just hit yes, continue. And this will log us straight into our title. You can click this pop-up to get shot back over to Serato. And I'll have a quick pop-up on the different functions of our library within Serato. Here, we can navigate to our playlist. And if we want to reanalyze these files, just so we have the right BPM and the right key for our set, we have the analyze files function up here in the library. So we just drag those songs over. Serato will immediately analyze them and assign each one with the BPM and key. 
and then we can get these songs ready for performance. Soundies makes this process really easy. Um, without having a tool like Soundies, it can take hours to transition one playlist from one service to another, searching each song individually and adding them each individually. So Soundies is a really great advantage for this and it saves a ton of time when it comes to making track lists and, and sort of saving as much work as possible in finding songs and curating music. So I hope you can use Soundies to your own ends. It's a really great tool and it can uh, provide a lot of value if you take the time to learn its functions. I hope this tutorial was useful and I hope you can take this information and apply it to your own life so you can get the most value out of your streaming services. Thank you for your time.